Hi everyone, this is Daryl and welcome back to HypeWord. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ubik by Philip K. Dick. Ubik is a science fiction novel that was first published in 1969 by American science fiction legend Philip K. Dick. The story is set in a future 1992 where psychic powers are utilised in corporate espionage while technology allows recently deceased people to be maintained in a lengthy state of half-life type hibernation. Ubik follows Joe Chip, a technician at a psychic agency who, after an assassination attempt, begins to experience strange alterations in reality that can temporarily be reversed by a mysterious store-bought substance known as Ubik. As one of Dick's most acclaimed novels, Ubik was chosen by Time magazine as one of the 100 greatest novels since 1923. A Time critic described it as a deeply unsettling existential horror story, a nightmare you'll never be sure you've woken up from. So I'm a big fan of Dick. So I'm a big fan of Philip K. Dick, and at the risk of sounding a little biased, I was almost certain that I was going to really enjoy this book before I even picked it up. In typical Dick style, it is confrontational and deals with a lot of issues, like questioning the existence of an afterlife, for example, in a sort of roundabout way, so that you don't really know that these issues are being dealt with until you finish the book and you think about it and you're like, hmm. Ubik is definitely a thinker and leaves a bit of an aftertaste that kind of makes you wonder what exactly it is you just read. Also, in the typical style of PKD, the ending is ambiguous, but it's not like a half-assed ending. I know a lot of people don't like ambiguity and prefer everything to be wrapped up in a nice satisfying bow. I for one like a good dose of ambiguity, especially when Dick does it, because it's the result of an obscurity that builds from the very first page. It's not just plop, here's an ending, too bad if you don't get it. This ambiguity about what exactly is happening to these people is underlined by the sense of confusion and uneasiness that is the main driving force of the character's actions. It is this that sets the novel up as a mystery to be solved and keeps you turning pages. As well as looking at those big questions, Ubik also strives to observe the little things, those small differences in a future society that make everything so similar and yet alien too. These little additions to the story had me massively entertained. They were cynical, verging on ridiculous in places, but also at the same time not ridiculous, and made parts of Ubik, in my opinion, some of PKD's funniest and satirical writing. Although there is a protagonist in Ubik, the point of view changes a bit at the beginning, so it's not immediately obvious who exactly the protagonist is. Further along the story, however, once the protagonist is established as Joe Chip, you're immediately confronted with his flaws, which doesn't make him immediately likeable, although it might make him relatable to some. But that's fine with me. Like I always say, I don't need my protagonist to be likeable, I just need to be entertained by them and in whatever way care about what they're doing. I did find, however, that the further I read, the more I grew to like Joe and his flaws. While I would most certainly call Joe a three-dimensional character with layers and plenty of realism, the exploration of his character, of all the characters in fact, was pretty sparse. There's a definite character arc, however, Ubik is not what I would describe as a character-led story, more of a concept-led story. I will say, however, that this didn't hinder my enjoyment of the book in any way in the slightest. I could go on talking about Ubik, but I want to keep this review as spoiler-free as possible, so it might be something that I explore at some point in the future. So to sum up, Ubik is a dick at his best. It's complex, somewhat dark vision of the future, and it is a story that changes shape like liquid as soon as you think you've got it figured out. So with that in mind, I gave Ubik four stars out of five. So that's it for my short review. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to get your thoughts on Ubik if you've read it, and if you'll be picking it up anytime soon in the comment section. As always, please like the video to support the channel, and subscribe for more videos on all things books. Here we talk about science fiction, fantasy, and sometimes horror. Until next time guys, happy reading. Run.